actually collecting data like weight or circumstances or pictures reinforces some of these um, difficult circles around obsessing with numbers. Can you explain this a little bit more? Yes. Oh, I love this one. And I think collectively as an industry, we're starting to recognize and really buy into or trust in the fact that weight loss isn't the thing, right? Weight loss is an outcome, but there's a lot of other things going on that we are hoping to help our clients move through, like their obsession with the scale, like their reliance on external feedback in order to feel good, like their relationship with food and all of these other internal emotional and psychological factors, right? When we ask our clients to, <clears throat> pardon me, report on their weight every single week and in one breath and then the other breath trying to convince them that the number doesn't tell the whole story and mm -hmm. that the scale is just, is just a tool, we're giving them conflicting information because subconsciously when they're reporting on their weights every week or their measurements or even, even their macros, right? When they're reporting on this data every single week, it's being subconsciously programmed into them to believe that this is what matters the most. Mm -hmm. so she'd be asking me for this information every single week. And then when they come to you and they're feeling frustrated that their, their progress isn't as good as they expected or that they wanted or that they thought it should be. And we get frustrated because <laughs> the number doesn't tell the whole story. It's like, okay, but you're reinforcing this belief in them. Mm -hmm. So if you want to stand on the platform of the number doesn't tell the whole story, weight loss, the scale is just a number. It doesn't define you, et cetera. We either need to have a better pre-frame conversation about what that data represents or slash and we need to have a weekly conversation about what their physical progress really means. So that